Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I vlogged, but life got kind of crazy in August and September. So after Taylor's wedding dress thing, I went to Nantucket with my old nanny family for a week. I came back for a few days and then I had to go to Florida for one of our friend's weddings. And then we came back and I jumped right into three twelves and then I got sick and then I went back to work and then I just got off work and now Josh and I both got sick again. So. It's just been kind of crazy and it's just been a lot so i haven't really been vlogging and a lot of those moments were things i just really wanted to be in the moment for if that makes sense so i just kind of wanted to step back and just prioritize those parts of my life but we are back and i'm so so excited i missed you guys work for all of those who are wondering and blowing my dms up is going so well i promise i will give you guys more nursing updates as i get more comfortable with my work and i will hopefully start vlogging more nursing content again but right now i'm just trying to prioritize rest and give myself time to just absorb work, absorb what I'm learning and doing and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, anyways, it is spooky season. It is the first day of fall. I think it's on the 23rd this year, but I work tomorrow night and Sunday night. So today and these last few days I have off are the only time I really have to decorate. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it and get out of the way. We got our little spooky season outfit. I got this like Are We Weird shirt from um, Shop Kristen Jones. I found her on TikTok. And then I have it with these cute little scream slippers. I will link everything down below. Josh has a cute little Beetlejuice. Maybe want to come. He's doing dishes right now. Do you want to come show me a Beetlejuice shirt with your bright green caddy hat? How cute! Spooky season. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, we are going to start decorating. I have everything in these two boxes out and then i also have a whole bunch more in the room josh is currently doing dishes and cleaning the stove so i'm gonna wait to do kitchen stuff <laughs> josh is sick so he's really milking it um but anyways, anyways i am going to just wipe down in here we've already had the vacuum run and i'm gonna mop in some spots so it doesn't need like a full mop but I'm gonna mop for sure underneath where like our kitchen mats are going. But like I said, kitchen stuff's happening when he's done doing that stuff. So I'm just gonna wipe down all of our coffee tables, inside tables in our living room, and then kind of start setting that space up. And then we also have this cutie little space as well that is going to be its whole own thing because I'm trying to create this into like my spooky bar cart this year. And we got a little bartender guy that I'll show you guys. And I don't know if I want to like pull this out and like put him behind it and like have him like be the little bartender of the year, but it's so cute. So I might, but yeah. And then our front room, I'm like so excited to decorate this and I have so much stuff for that space, but we might not be able to do that until maybe tomorrow after we get um, the stuff out of there. We got this year, I'll actually just show you guys before we start, we got our 12 foot skeleton. Oh my gosh. It was the literal last one in stock. It's so cool. And then this is the little bartender guy we also ended up getting because he was so cute and so funny. And we thought it'd be funny having him behind like the drinks for our party and stuff this year. But yeah, so I can't really do anything in here until this is removed. And then recycling also just came here so I can finally get rid of all these boxes and stuff. We also have a ton of updates for you guys in the house that have happened while I've been like on my little vlogging hiatus. We got some new coffee things, a new toaster. We got a whole new dining table. We got some new artwork that we have in our dining area um, and stuff like that that I will show you guys. Have I even showed them the underneath of our countertop? I don't think so. I have a lot to show you guys, so we'll do a little update. These are just some fat placemats. I couldn't find any that I liked at Home Goods or anything this year. And then when we finally got our table and I went back and was able to buy some and like commit to some, I couldn't find any at all. So I found these on Amazon and I'll link them in my storefront. I'll have like a whole spooky season section. But they just came in the mail the other day, so we'll have these to set up. Babe, these are so cute. I'm glad I did this. It was either going to be between this or these, like, spider web ones that they had at um, Target the other day. Um, so I did get some, like, table covers as well. But I think I'm glad I went with the bats. Look how cute that is. 
Okay, anyways, that's all that. I'm gonna go take this stuff out to recycling and start picking up this area and then I'll get all my stuff out that I use for this space at least. But welcome back to the vlog, I missed you guys. Okay guys, one of the updates that we wanted to share with you was this little dining space. So we painted everything. We still have a lot more to do and paint and stuff obviously, like with the doors and everything. But we ended up picking up this really, really cool acrylic cased piece of art. It is so cool and we are so obsessed with it. It was such a good price too, because we got it from TJ Maxx. So we are obsessed with that. And then I got this table. I will link everything down below. The website kind of looks sketch, but they actually did such a good job and this table was so easy to put together. We got this table. It actually has a leaf in the center so it can fit eight. So we'll eventually get some more chairs and stuff and a bench in here. Um, that way when we host, everyone can kind of have a place to sit. But this is how it looks now and we are super, super obsessed. I think it is so, so pretty and I feel like just like all of these textures and stuff just kind of look really cool together so that's one thing that we've gotten since talking to you guys last the other thing we've done is i'm not i can't remember if i showed you guys this or not but this summer we did the underneath of our bar so before this it was all just plain drywall which you can kind of see on the edges there because we we have not done the edges under here yet but we did that and then some other little appliances that we've switched out is we just got this and we got rid of our nespresso we just weren't using the pods and like getting them and all of that stuff just kind of was annoying. So we got this new Smeg thing. It's in their jade color. It's, it's literally stunning. I'm obsessed. And then right here we got a new toaster. Our toaster was like some from some sketch company and it was so bad. So we saw this color and just knew we had to have it. You guys will love how this looks when we get our black cabinets. And then we also got some new floor mats for in here that have this kind of green in it. And I think it's gonna look super, super cool, but that's for when the holidays are over. But yeah, that's all the updates. We are a little ways through our living room. We're gonna take a break because my coffee table is absolutely stumping me. So we're gonna do our little dining area and I'm really excited because we got some cute stuff for it and I have different options. So we're just gonna kind of see what looks best, what works best, and then go from there and then I'll return whatever we don't pick. But I'm so excited to decorate this room this year. done so much the whole front living area space and kitchen are pretty much done i have this stuff on the counter that doesn't really have a home yet but we still need to do the hallway and the rest of the house we're just both really tired and kind of over it for the day and then my coffee table i'm still kind of like messing with i just i don't know i don't want to like clutter it 
but I want like a good balance to it and I'm just trying to find that I guess so trying to do that and then we have some witch hats to hang in our dining area we also did this mirror I thought it was so cute and then you can still kind of have a little selfie space and then I couldn't show you guys the setup of this because the lighting was so bad because the lights back here but I'll show you this when we put this down later tonight. But we got our little guy set up. He's so cute and funny. He has funny stuff. And then we finally have just like this super cute little bar area. Why is this wet? And then we have this little setup. And this guy actually is like a little skeleton light that I just put in there. Because I didn't have a place to plug in the actual thing it came in. So I thought that would be fun. We don't really use that light very often. But I thought it would be cool just to have there. And then we have like the blankets we actually just use as the blankets out here. Pillows that Sven's already messed up. <laughs> you look so scared and naughty. Sven doesn't really love um, Dean the mixologist. We got this pillow here and then I have this guy set up here. I just don't know what to do with all my blankets. I've kind of collected too much. So we're just trying to make do. Use that. This was like an outdoor patio one we got a few years ago. And I just thought it was cute and thought it would be fun there. And then I have... My flowers and stuff there, my skeleton, and then on this side of the table I have my ghost. So I have a lot. Now I just need to dust these off and switch out my frames, which we're gonna sit down and watch a show and do. And then again, tomorrow we'll do those. And then I wanna do this bathroom too, cause that's gonna be the guest bathroom at our party. I am going to get Sven's new toys and then Josh and I are just gonna park on the couch for a few hours, probably until dinner and then watch a show and while we do that i'm gonna just switch out the frames that i do have that way tomorrow we can go to kinko's and get all the prints that we need for the rest all right guys we kept the dino tradition from last year he now has a mommy dino what's the other one a ghost dino i forget the other one so got in this one. Oh, that's a cute one. Oh, good job that's a good dino boy okay but then we got this one we got him, he likes pulling the stuff out of the holes. These don't last long, he ends up chewing through this part, so. We love getting you a new ones. Ooh, that one's, that one's good. Okay, and then we saw this one, which he loves tug of war, and this had a good rope for tug of war. <laughs> oh, yep, there it is. I don't even need to show you this one. He says, thank you, what about this one? You can't fit both. <laughs> yeah, anyways, this one's gonna be good for tug of war with him, I feel like. Okay. Which one you saying? <laughs> See you later. And then these are sissies from last year. They're probably gonna die soon, but I kept them because they were cute. So this one's like on its last thread, and of course that one's her favorite. But oh, oh, it wasn't in focus. I hate this camera. Oh, she loves these. All right, guys, time for dinner, and we are here to kickstart a fresh fall routine with HelloFresh. HelloFresh handles all the meal planning and shopping to deliver everything you need to cook up a tasty meal right at home. Since being back in the nursing setting, I'm not kidding when I say I'm so grateful and so relieved when we get our HelloFresh deliveries because they literally do the hard part and I just get to cook it and take the credit rather than having to go out, plan my meals, grocery shop. They also have their quick and easy recipes that are literally 15 minute meals so I can also have more time to rest and hang out with Josh and the babies. I also don't know about you guys but I love fall meals and HelloFresh has a fresh fall lineup of delicious dinners as well as easy breakfasts, quick lunches, and fresh snacks. If you guys want to try it HelloFresh, go to HelloFresh.com and use the code 50AshleyTaylor at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com and use the code 50AshleyTaylor at checkout for 50 off plus free shipping. Okay guys, it's been a little while. We hung around on the couch for a little bit. We watched Monster House and then I made us dinner. It was actually pretty good. I probably could have added a little bit more salt, but... What can you do? Anyways, I'm letting the water warm up. I'm about to wash my face and change into my PJs, which I want to show you. Josh and I, like I said, have been sick, so at the end of the day, it just has been hitting us really hard, and I'm just like so congested, and like my head hurts, and my throat hurts, so I'm gonna lay down. Um, so I'm gonna wash my face, get my PJs, and then we're gonna lay down, but I got some really cute PJs from Victoria's Secret that I want to show you guys. Ah, oh, this camera. So I wanted to share those before I wrap up the vlog for tonight, and then, I think I'll probably vlog the rest of the weekend, so, yeah. All right, these are the jammies I wanted to show you guys. I think they're so cute. I'm so sorry, guys. I have such a bad cough right now. 
Um, I got them from Victoria's Secret maybe like a few weeks ago. I feel like it wasn't that long ago. I think it was like middle of August, but so cute. And then I just am wearing my little spooky heels. It's so spooky in here. It's so spooky. It's spooky. Is it so spooky? Are you a spooky bubby? Saturday you guys I'm so sorry about last night as soon as like four o'clock hits I just start deteriorating so bad um, I'm actually literally currently trying to decide if I should call out and reschedule my orientation shift tonight because I legit got so sick last night and I'm trying to just like really push through right now but we are not doing good in the O'Connell out household right now so Sorry if I'm a little off. We just are really trying to create a vlog for you guys and also just get this stuff done so we can just push through the season. But yeah, anyways, it's Saturday. I'm supposed to work tonight. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But anyways, we are going to try and wrap up decorating for Halloween today. We are going to try and knock out our front yard and then I want to hang up my witch hats in the hallway and in my um, dining room. And then I need to do my little nook area by our bathroom. And then we should be good. Excuse me. Um, this morning, I was not feeling too well. It's literally 2 p.m. right now. We sat on the couch and I just sat and stared at my, my frame wall, my gallery wall. Oh my gosh, you guys, I like am just so not with it right now. My gallery wall because I had to do some new prints for it. So I did print out all of the ones that needed updated updating because if you guys remember a few weeks ago we lowered everything and moved things closer so some frames just had to get moved and some of them were originally horizontal had to move vertical so just had to get some new prints and the prints i had before them didn't come in that shape so found some new ones i'm actually super happy i think this might be my favorite gallery wall yet for spooky season but we did that and then i reorganized the bar area because it was just so cluttered and i was just trying to sit on it last night to see if we could last a whole month with it the way it was and I just was like, no, I'm not going to be able to. So I adjusted that space and then printed those things out. And, and then we also cleaned our front room and put those things away there. So I will show you guys that and how it all looks. And then we're going to go outside and meet Josh and Svenny. And we are going to put off our 12-foot skeleton in our little graveyard. And it's going to be super duper fun. And then after that, we'll try and wrap up all our inside stuff. Yeah, what are you doing over there? Are you begging go outside? Oh, you jealous? Everyone's outside. I know it's not fair. All right, we've been watching a lot of college football today, but we have all the same things. So we have my Frankenstein here. We have the little ghosts in the like phone booth here. Spooky season skeleton. These two, three or four are actually like all OG ones, I think, um, from my apartment from when I first did this. We got some ghosts. This is a monsters and therapy thing. I thought the green would match the green frame, and it does perfectly. I'll show you guys when we get closer. And then these three are all new ones. We got Michael, Oogie Boogie, a ghost one with his own gallery wall, which I thought was funny. This one's new, which is Dwight. And then this one just says Spooky Corner, I think, which I thought was just perfect. I couldn't find one for that, so I literally just put a pat bat in between their fingers, and that's all I'm doing with it this year. <laughs> and then I just left these old ones the same, but I'll give you guys a close-up. So here's our Monsters and Therapy. I literally found this on Etsy and saved it and then printed it to the size I need. And then we got Dwight here. Love that. Also found on Etsy. And then this one was also found. Or no, they're from, um, not Etsy, Pinterest. I found all three of these on Pinterest, you guys. Not even Etsy. Spooky Corner. I thought it was fun. My Greta Van Fleet one is under this, and it's black and white, and I liked how it looked on the wall, so I kept the black and white vibes going. Here's their little fingers in the bat. I honestly also don't know if I'm going to do bats on the walls this year. I'm trying to decide. I just don't want too much clutter. So I'm trying to figure that out. Um, and then we got pumpkin carving with Michael. I liked this. I thought it looked good with the rounding of the frame up here. So I'm really happy I did that. We got Oogie Boogie Man, which I'm so excited. I think this part is all going to glow up. We always put our black light over this area 
for a party. So I think this is gonna look really cool. And then we got this little ghosty with his own little gallery wall. And then we got Svenny's toys. I put all of his Halloween toys up front so he can have them. And then I redid this entire area. We moved our palm into this room and then we put this guy here. He was just taking up too much room and that was just, it was just a mess and I couldn't do it. And then I took everything off of here because it was just too cluttered and just too much was going on. So I just did all of this. I put our record player back out because I just can't stop listening to this album and I just needed it accessible. Put this guy with his little Frankenstein thing here. Put my little record guy back that I put my little drinks on here. Got two little whiskey glasses. I normally spray paint these gold, but this year I decided I kind of wanted more variety than just all gold things because I have all gold things basically around and I'm kind of like loving silver vibes. So I thought that would be more fun. And then I put my candles here and I found my ghost ones from last year. They're a little broken, but I didn't. And I never got a chance to really light them last year because we were just always in our back bedroom because my parents were living here. So I thought we'd give them a shot here and I thought they looked cute because we have our little ghost here. We have Dean the mixologist here. I think I'm gonna put him back in the bar back for the actual party that way, because this is gonna be where everyone's gonna actually like get their drinks. And then in here, I did my little trick or treat snake plant thing in here. Love that. We have our little skeleton that we've picked up from Target. I was actually gonna try and fit this on my gallery wall somewhere, but it was just too much work. So I just put it in the window. I thought the kids, oh, we have a ton of kids walking here to school. So I thought that'd be cute for them. I'm gonna try and find something to hide the cord part here. We have another skeleton that I might have him just sit here. And then I have this cute little mirror. I put this guy here and then I found this plant in a different pot at Sprouts. So I just put it in his head because I think it's so cute. And then I found this like really cool retro looking little diffuser guy and I thought it'd be perfect. So I still have to pour the stuff in it, but I put him, I wanna put him on here too. I just think it's so cute. Oh, I love it. And then we have our palm here. And then I put that guy there with all of our keys and stuff in it. And then here is gonna go like an old school painting of a Victorian styled fancy dressed bat. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. And then we have our spiders. So, so cute. And then we have this mat out here. This one's motion censored. So when anyone walks on it, all their eyes glow up and it's pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, that's everything we've done on the inside. We still have to do the whole back half of the house, but we're gonna prioritize the front yard right now. We got Jack the Skellington put up. He looks so good. We got a cute boy who didn't want to wear his bandana anymore. We got this guy in our hanging heads. Now we just need to do our little graveyard. And then we have to wait to do this side of the yard because we're getting the street taken down this week. So we'll do that probably in a future vlog. But I'm so excited for my creepy graveyard with my creepy skeleton. Let's see the mouse. What's going on? You like that? She said, what is that? All right, I look, I look like a little pilgrim child. Um, anyways, we ended up not doing the graveyard. We can't find the little stick things that go on the ground. I think there's some in our shed, but it's such a mess right now that even if they are there, I don't think we'll ever find them until the day that that thing gets completely cleaned inside and out. But we don't feel good. Our energy's low, so we're gonna run to Kings and get some like Gatorades and just things to help us replenish our electrolytes. And then we're just gonna come back and chill for a little bit before dinner. I think um, I still need to do like the back area so we can do that when I get back real quick because it should be a really easy thing. Um, other than that, we're pretty much done and then I'll give you guys maybe like a final walkthrough tomorrow before I go in for work. So, super fun things.
Good morning, happy Sunday. It is like 10 something in the morning right now. My goal today, because I do work tonight and I have to go to tonight's shift because I don't want to reschedule two orientation shifts. I think that would just be too hard because I'm so close to being done. Um, I am glad I called out last night. I took some NyQuil and I just feel like a whole different person today. Like Josh and I both like woke up and we were like, wow, this is crazy. Like we feel alive again. So I'm sorry if the last couple of days of this vlog, if I'm a little dull or low in energy, it's just... I was trying so hard to just push through the sickness and vlog for you guys because I have such a crazy week this next week that I just don't know what vlogging is going to look like. Like I was supposed to work last night and then I work tonight and then I have tomorrow off which is Monday. Tuesday I have this all day pediatrics class thing and then I go back to two more night shifts Tuesday or Wednesday, Thursday and then I'm off for two days before I go back for two more nights and then my schedule will kind of start spreading out a little bit as I get to the end of my orientation so I just really wanted to push through and make this vlog for you guys but I do apologize if I'm just a little off I hope that I can vlog somewhat today I just finished watching Edward Scissorhands and loving all the spooky vibes but yeah I just wanted to come on here and just kind of say sorry to that and like let you guys know what was going on Outside of that, I wanted to just spend a little bit of time talking in this section of the vlog about some of my nursing stuff because I feel like a lot of you are here for that and care about that part of my life. Um, so I thought I would just put out like an update. Um, work is going really well. I am quite a few weeks in. I have been working full-time days. I'm about to switch to nights tonight, which was supposed to be last night. I am really excited to go back to nights. Somehow I feel like with night shift and this part of my life, I feel like I just get to do more on nights. And I feel like when I work night shifts, especially on like weeknights, like I'm not missing anything and like the whole world's asleep and then I get to be done. And then I'm, you know, with the world when the world is awake for most of the day. So I feel like just somehow I just get a little bit more life out of it for this just stage of my life but um so i'm really excited to go back to nights tonight and i think it's gonna be a good thing but yeah other than that i switched to nights and then i kind of am i'm working full-time right now on orientation but then when my orientation's done i'm going to be going down to part-time because they don't have enough space for full-time staff Right now, I'm just kind of filling in the holes. So the next few months, like I'm scheduled out through January right now. And well, halfway through January. And you guys are going to be seeing me work a lot of days and nights. And it's only because like my job right now is just like filling in the gaps of nights and days and stuff that we just need a staff member on that day. Like we need a nurse that day. So I'm just kind of filling in the holes for these next few months. But once our traveler leaves or resigns, I'll have a better idea of more so being on nights or days. But no matter what, I will be on part-time. I feel like life is just a little bit easier when you can work part-time and then pick up full-time, if that makes sense. Because I don't have to commit to the three shifts if I don't want to. I just need the two a week and then I can add on if someone calls out or they need extra help or whatever may happen. I just feel like it, it gives me a little bit more flexibility and all the benefits are the same. So I was like, why would I not? just make my life easier this time around so that's what we've been doing orientation has been going so well i am so obsessed with all the nurses i have on my unit i think everyone is just so down to earth and just so kind and caring towards each other towards the patients and everything we have been taking a lot of overflow adult med surge patients which i was always super super like f no to med surge blah 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 like all these things but we do get the easier cases because we have to keep beds open for our peds patients and it's just kind of slow right now until rsv and flu season come through but i am so grateful for what i have learned and i have loved every single adult patient i've had like so much in their families and i feel like it's given me a lot of fulfillment at the end of the days even the hard days so that's been fun and i've also just got to learn and do so 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 much nursing stuff that i feel like i just wasn't getting at my previous jobs um, so it just feels really cool to be kind of just so 
in it that if that makes sense so i am loving it i don't see myself quitting anytime soon um but yeah it's been a good time and it's a lot but i'm definitely just having i feel like the experience i've been looking for so i am very grateful for that but yeah that's just like a little work update for you guys i plan on finishing this vlog out i might even go through till tomorrow just because i have tomorrow off and Maybe I can show you guys what it looks like when I do a one and done and like how I flip my schedule tomorrow because I'll probably just nap in the morning and then nap later and then just go to bed on time. We'll just see kind of how that works out and I'll just keep the vlog going. Hopefully it's not too long. If so, we can maybe do a part one and part two. But yeah, other than that, I feel like if you guys haven't noticed, I am kind of struggling with my YouTube content. I feel like I'm at a part of my life where I'm just truly having so much fun. Like I'm happy with my job. My relationship is so good. We are finally getting settled and we are so happy just creating our little home finally. As you guys know, my parents were living with us for a while and just renovating a home in general just takes up a lot of time and it's very draining. So I feel like at this point where we're at, where this summer we've been able to paint and just do all these things, it's just, I don't know, it's very special. But I am struggling in the sense of like, I'm just having so much fun in my life that I'm having a hard time wanting to like vlog and share it, if that makes sense. I feel like I've shared so, so, so much of my life these last few years I've been on YouTube. And then on top of that, like June of 2022, like a lot of things in my life hit, just shit hit the fan. And just like my life got just so crazy. And I spent like an entire year just in the most dark, depressed state. I had some major losses in my life that I just like, I don't think I'll ever feel comfortable talking about on here. But there's just so many things that happened in my life that just broke me as a human on top of kind of just struggling with my career choice that I was felt so stuck with because I spent all this time getting it and it just wasn't working in my favor and just like all these things. So I just felt like I was in a dark hole and my goal was to be so authentic and honest on my channel and somehow it, i by being honest it like hurt me more because of the nastiness of what like the world is kind of i feel like just i don't know i got attacked left and right on top of trying to navigate things that were just really hurting me personally and i feel like it just took a big chunk of my passion away from youtube so i'm kind of struggling and you guys might see it in the next few months obviously throughout october my goal is to prioritize finishing out my orientation um at work and just getting through that but other than that i feel like i'm only really going to be picking up the vlog when i absolutely feel like it i feel like i spent a lot of time the last year and a half trying to just force vlogs and force content and i just feel like i kind of just lost my happiness and drive and like passion for youtubing and i'm trying really hard to kind of find that again but if you guys are looking for just very up-to-date every single day content i would recommend going and following my instagram i've never been crazy at plugging my instagram because i just i don't know i don't care what you follow me on or if you follow me or not but if you want to see constant every day my life content definitely check out instagram because i'm more active on there it's just easier for me and i just feel more comfortable sharing on that platform for this part of my life um but i'm not quitting youtube i'm not nothing's happening i'm just trying to like figure out what makes me happy within it again and trying to find the passion that i once had for creating i just feel like I don't know i'm just having such a good time in my life right now and i just kind of want to be so in the moment and just be selfish and just not really have to share it if that makes sense but then i also like love kind of creating and obviously i've built this community up over the last four year, few years and i feel like i've just i i just love so many of you and i feel like i have such good relationships with so many of you who are like consistent within my videos and my life and like all these things and are just so like positive and encouraging to me like i love you guys but yeah i'm just trying to kind of figure it all out right now but right now i'm just so happy with everything that i'm just trying to live life and be in the moment and love it all um i just kind of wanted to keep you guys in the loop because obviously the last few weeks i haven't been vlogging life was just super crazy and there were just a lot of things again i wanted to be in the moment for but yeah anyways i need to do the dishes I would like to eventually at some point today pack up my lunch and stuff or at least get it ready in the fridge for when I leave for work tonight. I have my scrubs and stuff in the dryer that I want to just fold and get everything ready for work tonight. But my goal was to really sit down and kind of just talk to you guys about those things because I know I just haven't been on here much and I haven't really talked about anything into detail too much. So 
just wanted to give you guys a little update on everything but yeah i'm going to probably chill here for a little bit longer i do work tonight so i'm trying to just have like a very slow sleepy day so i think i'm gonna just see if i can find another spooky season show or movie or something to just put on while i hang out and then i will keep you guys updated from here through the day but um yeah y'all it has been a little bit it is currently Sven is barking it's currently 603 right now i'm getting ready for work i don't have to leave till like 6 40 ish because it's a sunday night and i don't have to really deal with traffic so we're kind of just vibing getting ready i'm not gonna lie i am not excited for work tonight i am just feeling like i don't know i feel like every time i'm getting over a sickness it just kind of I like being my full self at work, especially when I'm trying to like learn and absorb information. And I feel like I just get anxiety for anything if I'm just like the slightest bit off my game. But we're gonna make the best of it. I'm putting makeup on because for some reason it just helps me kind of stay awake and also just stay motivated throughout the night shift. I feel like on nights that I wouldn't wear anything at all, I just found myself more comfortable like slouching around and stuff. So. I'm just doing a light makeup though, literally just like concealer and a little bit of bronzer and some blush. I'm not going to do mascara or anything else. I'm also going to try going to the gym in the morning and only because I'm only doing one and done now that I called out for last night. So now I'm just trying to see if I'm going to be able to do what I used to do and go to workout after my last night shift um or if I'm gonna have to just come home and die for a little bit and go to bed and then go later in the day I just feel like I just have such a busy Tuesday Wednesday Thursday schedule going right back into weekend shifts that I'm just not sure how motivated I'm gonna feel <sighs> but we are just gonna make the best of it and see what we can do I'm just gonna I packed a bag which has my hokas that I train in um, because I feel like I'm going to do a full body day and do maybe try running on the treadmill for a little bit. I'm not sure how good of a runner I'm going to be because I'm still recovering in the respiratory department. But I thought if I just brought it, maybe I would want to go and Josh is going to be in, there in the morning and I feel like that would be good motivation. So there's that. I have everything ready to go except for my lunch, but it's all ready in the fridge. I just kind of need to throw a couple fruits in some containers and then just put it in there. And we're good to go there. I'm not really bringing a whole lot tonight. I have not had any appetite since I've been six. I might get a Starbucks around like 9.45, 10 though, because I did eat dinner and I'm just still not hungry and I just know I'm not gonna be hungry until like nine o'clock if I get hungry so we're just not wanting to do that but anyways I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'm gonna get my scrubs and then pack my lunch and stuff and then I will maybe talk to you guys on my way to work also just real quick you guys I got my little spooky season Badriel and it's zero and he glows up and I thought the kiddos would love that so it's officially spooky season so we're officially using the spooky season Badriel and I'm so excited so cute I'll link it below All right, y'all. Josh is watching football laying on the couch. I'm very jealous. I'm gonna pack up my lunch. Right now I have leftover Cheeto things from uh, Trader Joe's. Like as hard as a rock, a quarter of an aloe bar. <laughs> I'm convinced I'll eat it one day. Maybe if I'll just be hungry to the point enough to do it, but it's been in there for a while, so who knows. And then a beef stick because I didn't eat it last shift. A piece of gum. Gum is nice on night shift. I might steal some gum from you, babe. And a dime, so. Nutritious. All right. For my dinner tonight, we are having one Gatorade electrolyte because we've been sickies. 
And then I have this leftover couscous with roasted carrots and some chicken in it. And then I'm also bringing this pasta that we made the other night that has some kale and chicken in it because I'm not sure which one I'm going to want or which one I'm going to have an easier time heating up to eat depending on how crazy the night gets. Bringing an apple for a snack because I feel like apples are very filling to me. And then I have a whole thing of Chick-fil-A. What are these called, babe? Hash browns. Hash browns. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Hash browns in case I get hungry in the morning. And then we pack some strawberries. Four straws and grapes. Grapes are just so good all the time. They're just a pop of hydration. Ooh, almost through that. Now we got that, and that's probably all I'm gonna pack because I'd rather starve than eat on night shift, honestly. All right, we got hers all good to go. And then I'm a hydration girl, so I would rather carry my drinks than my, ooh, I got an old fork in here. Let's get rid of that. Get all these alcohol pads out and use those. So, I would rather carry in my phone and my drinks than my bag. So, I just use my backpack at this point to shove my lunch in because I'm not going to carry a million things in my hands. So, we just shove her in there nice and tweet. And she's all packed. And then, ooh, for my pockets, I have my alcohol wipes, an aquaphor, my badge reel, got my phone, I have deodorant, spray, a workout outfit, socks, shoes, and a booty band, and my headphones for the gym, all in here. That will just stay in my car. And then I need to refill my ice water, and then I'm gonna go do my hair, and then change it to my scrubs. All right, y'all, I just got to work. We're gonna give the hair one more brush because it's trying a little crazy. It's trying a little crazy. She's got a little frizz to her. So we're just gonna try and brush that down. I don't normally put my hair up until I get going just because I don't know why. I wore a headband because I'm trying to keep my bangs out of my face. I feel like, I don't know, I get gross out. I don't like touching my face and my hair a lot at work. So I have a hair clip to throw it back once I get report and get going for the night. 6.45 right now. I can't even clock in for six more minutes. So all I have to do is go in right here and walk up a flight of stairs and I'm on my unit and I can clock in. So that's what I'll do in a little bit, but I'm Jay chilling right now. So I thought I'd quickly update you guys. I'm about to go in in a few minutes. I'm gonna turn off and just have some moments to myself because that's just what I gotta do before I go in. But I will see you guys in the morning. We made it through the shift. I had a good shift. I only had one patient until midnight. My other patient got admitted after like midnight. It was just a little asthma cutie. Loved him. Absolutely obsessed with him. Um, but yeah, chill night. I did all my own pumps. I'm learning the Baxter pumps, which are absolutely the most aggravating pump in the entire planet. And these ones are just so temperamental. They're annoying, but I got my own little nurse groove last night. I was super independent. I only had help with like my admission and doing my nebs. Oh, I have never given RT or nebs before because on day shift, RT is actually nice and they came up and did it. So yeah, it was a chill night and I really like my night shift nurses. Everyone is so much older than me and I really like it. They're all just like, I feel like I just have like 10 moms and dads now. It's a great feeling. But um, yeah, oh, and I got to meet one of our new, or not new, I'm new. I got to meet one of our peds doctors and he is one of the coolest humans I've ever met and he was just so cool. I can't wait to like hang out. Our doctors, you guys, maybe it's just a peds thing. Maybe peds doctors are just genuinely happy and good at what they do, but they are so nice. And like, you just like call them at like 11 and we're like, hey, this is an asthma patient we need. Mm. And he's just like, okie dokie. I'm like, He's so nice. So, it was a good night. It was a good one and done. I feel so much better. I had a fucking coughing fit at like from like four to six. It was aggressive. They were all like, are you gonna be okay? And I was like, I might need a nub next. Like, I don't know what's happening. But anyways, 
I need to stop talking. I just sat in my car for an extra 30 minutes talking to Tay because I've been sick and decorating and we just haven't got to do much. But I am going to go inside and go do my little workout. I might only do like three things because I'm already just not feeling it, but I'm trying to persevere. I love you guys and I will see you guys after the gym. Let's go pump some iron. All right, it is currently 11.11. I'm starting to feel slightly delusional, so that's my cue to lay the F down and try and take a nap. I, because I am not going back to another night shift until Wednesday night, I'm just trying to nap and maybe go to bed around like 8.39 tonight. Um, I do have an early morning. I have my peds, presenting peds class all day tomorrow, so it's going to be a long day and then I go right into two more nights after that to finish my three of the week. So it's going to be a lot, but I need to get some rest. I just showered, I took Svenny on a walk, I packed my lunch and got everything situated. I changed into my cutie little um, Ghostbuster sweatshirt. I got this from Ari, I linked it on my stories. If you guys want the most relevant, up-to-date content, please follow me on Instagram because I share everything that I possibly can on there because it's just so much easier for me. Um, but I shared it a while ago and I'll link it below if they still have it, it's a little late now but hopefully they still do but yeah i will talk to you guys if and whenever i wake up today giving 70s house mom shag. Like, is a little moldy in the back? A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, I woke up from my nap. Josh is home now. And I don't think I, did I just say Josh? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm a little, I'm a little out of it, you guys. But I slept for like an hour and a half. I'm not that tired. I thought it was gonna be like dead tired, but I'm really not. I feel like I got at least adequate rest yesterday despite not actually getting a nap in. But, energy's good. Josh is making me some pot stickers right now because nothing else that we had sounds good and I just need a little bit because it's like already almost 3.30. So I just need a little snack. It's time to go for dinner. I got a really exciting package. Yes, they sent stickers. I love stickers. I am trying out this Bones coffee place. Um, I've, I've gotten a lot of ads for it, so I was like, you know what, we're just gonna try it and see how we like it. So I got three flavors for the fall and winter-ish season. We'll, we'll see how long it'll last. So our new machine is, it takes beans and it grinds it up fresh for you when you're making your coffee. So I got two beans, because that's like currently my favorite way of having it. So I got pumpkin spice. And then mm, this one I'm actually the most excited for. It's s'more time. Josh and I had this type of coffee when we lived in the city. It was called Happy Camper, and it was like a s'mores coffee or camp, <clears throat> s'mores campfire or something. And it was one of the best coffees I ever had, but every time we got it after that year, it, it just tasted so old. Like it had been sitting in TJ Maxx's storage for a year, so we stopped buying it. And I saw that they had it, so I wanted to try it. And then we still like our drip coffee sometimes too with Smeg and our French press. So I got Cinnabon and ground coffee. But super cute, and they're all spooky skeleton fun things. So. You know, coffee, yum. So yeah, that's it. Josh is gonna make me this, you guys, and honestly, if I'm being honest, I'm gonna be on the couch for the rest of the day. My workout was kind of dense on the back, I'm a little sore, I'll make Josh rub my shoulders out. Let me eat my little snacky snack, we'll make dinner in a little bit, and my ass is probably gonna be in bed pretty early tonight because I have a full day of work tomorrow with my presenting peds class. But I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was as bearable as I could make it. 
and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.